time for a Pantheon game. Uh, continuing a bit of the uh, old meta that I have been doing lately, just because it's kind of fun, you know. I'll be explaining to you everything as much detail as possible. This will be a beginner's guide. Pantheon is a pretty solid jungler. Uh, the biggest problem he just has is his clear speeds so-and-so. Like, you definitely have a little bit of a clear speed issue. And, yeah, apart from that, I mean, it's fine, really. You don't have to worry about much. So, uh, hopefully get a leash. This would help my clear speed issue a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it looks like I'm getting a leash. Very, very good. Oh, nope. Never mind. He's AFK. Oh, wonderful. Got a little bit of leash from Lux, I guess. It will not be much, but it'll be something, I suppose. If you get no leash at all, starting Raptors is going to be the, the move for sure, because at that point, that'll be more effective for you. So that is something. Take Q into W. You can also take W into Q, to be fair. It doesn't make a huge difference. Just try to make sure that every time you empower, uh, you want to empower with W, because this will give you these three quick auto attacks for free. And those are actually quite nice. You can stack up your Q quite quickly from that. And that is going to help you quite a bit. So like here, I'd like to lead the camp with the W. Because the three auto attacks into this Q in power can be used more effectively, if that makes sense. Yeah, you can see, like, my, my clear speed's uh, it's okay-ish, you know. I'm just going to hit this. There we go. Take E. Just be going for a full clear, just simply for the consistency of it. Group, W to do this, and then we're just going to E, and then off this E, we want to make sure that we empower the Q now. Pretty much one-shot the rest of this camp. Once you have all your abilities, it's actually doable, like it's actually kind of fine. Before that, eh. Into W, Q. Alright. Every single stack you get, uh, or every auto attack you do, you get one of those stacks from your bar here. Okay. That's kind of such. For a second, I thought he question mark ping me there. <laughs> uh, okay, well. I mean, this is actually kind of good because we actually know that the uh, Echo is now delayed in his jungle. So I can probably actually mess with him quite a bit on his blue buff, which is what I'm going to do. We're gonna look while walking. We're gonna charge our Q by casting it every single time you Q. You get a you get a stack regardless if it hits anything or not. And we're just gonna go super aggressive onto the Echo because he's not gonna be able to fight us. Three hits. This should be not a problem at all. All right, perfect. That is just a uh, level advantage right there. He, uh, one Pantheon is extremely strong in like any given 1v1. I have pressed the attack, which gets procced off of my W3 hits pretty quickly. And obviously he's a level down. He went for that mid lane play, so we can do something here. I should look for this gank dive. He needs to push a bit faster if he wants to work. Push. Are you serious? It's going to be too late now, actually. Fine. We're not doing anything. Timo is not pushing fast enough. I cannot dive this. This wave is going to take Timo way too long to shove, so it's not worth it to uh, stick around for it. So we won't. Eclipse will be the first item we rush, and we just have to make sure we get to our camp respawns here once again. I would have loved to dive this guy, but that would have only been possible if Timo hard shoved the wave, and he simply was never doing that because he was just permanently just casually auto-attacking and lost hitting. It's just not something that's going to happen. Uh, off that, I think... With his movement just now, he's probably going to move for bot scuttle, it looked like. So we're probably going to kill him on that real quick. There he is. Perfect. That should be fine. I don't think there's anything he can do here. Just got to wait for my W to come back. Goodbye. I need to be a little bit respectful of him. Also, their bot lane is not seen on the map currently, so I cannot disrespect it at all here. He moved down and it looked like he was going to go for this bot scuttle, so he just moved for it. Make sure to lead with the W, get to press the attack proc, and kill him pretty quickly. It's very, very, very difficult for this guy to fight me, like just at any given moment, really. This is 
good. Pretty much making sure here that like as many times as possible. When I'm on max tax and I can W, I will do that. But if my W is on cooldown, I'll try to prioritize uh, doing the Q instead of the W. Never really the E. Um, because, yeah, I mean, you can. It gives a nice movement speed bonus. But it's not that great. I, I like the, uh, for at least your jungle clear especially, it's just better to go for this. If you need some chase potential, potentially, then maybe. But, yeah. If you hold down your Q, by the way, like I'm using a melee range for the most part right now, but if you hold down your Q, you can extend it by range like this. So you can potentially snipe somebody from quite a bit of range if, if necessary. All right, just get this down. Mid lane can potentially be a gank. I'm gonna get our stacks back up, so we're just gonna Q a couple times. That should have been it. Get the knock up. I missed, man. That sucks. This guy just completely missed his knockup. Maybe I should have just flash W'd when he had the stacks for it. That could have been smarter. You know, he's just walking up too far, so this might be possible. Oop. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, fair enough. That's my mistake. I went way too greedy on that. I actually thought I, like that was still somewhat doable, but no. He's not going to win that. Yeah, that's pretty rough. He missed the most important skill shield in that fight, which if he hits that, he inst this guy insta-dies. He didn't, so he doesn't insta-die. There is a small chance that this guy needs to like take too much time to shove the wave. He, if he backs in a bad spot, I might be able to hit the Q on him. But yeah, that was a mistake on my part. I went a bit too aggressive. Didn't really work out too well. This guy's probably doing void grubs, right? He is not. I think my best move is just to go top and not do void grubs right now. So that's what I'm going to do here. Going to move on to this. There's the, the, the gangplank. I don't think he'd have the thing up. No, he doesn't. Perfect. I'm just going to shove the wave because Timo definitely wants to back here. Get that in the turret for him as fast as possible. And then we might be able to look for this. There is no way this Echo gets to fight me here. So I should be fine in that regard. I need to be very careful with my stacks here, actually. If he tries to fight me, I need to actually be kind of ready for it. Let's get one. One is already very good. The rest is nice, but we'll see. Mm, I definitely want to keep my stun for the fact for if he shows up, honestly. Uh, it's not looking too good for bot lane right now either. Looking a bit bad this game currently. I made a big mistake in that mid lane play. Like I just underestimated the uh, the way there, which is. Not good on my end, obviously. Should be able to go mid, so we just stack up until five. Stacks, go, go, go. That's a good one. Stun the second we get in range, so we just W click. Very good. He did, didn't miss it this time. Ow. That was not in the right direction. Should have faced it towards, his, uh, towards him. You need to face towards the enemy that you want to block damage from. But this is good, though. That is definitely worth it. This time he hit his tornado, so we actually got the kill. That's solid. Alright, I mean, we're getting somewhere. It's all good. A uh, bit of a whoopsie on one of my plays here, but yeah, it happens, you know. Sometimes you just mess up. Yeah, I definitely need to look for a bot lane play, because he currently has quite a shutdown, and that is definitely a play I want to look for. So we're just going to clear our top side right now, and then we're going to recall and probably just ult bolt. That's the plan, at least. Right. 4 HP. Wait, excuse me. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to back here because we have a large amount of money, so that's definitely something we're prioritizing right now. Gonna go bolt after this for the uh, bolt gank. I think that's gonna be the shout here. Gonna buy the eclipse, which is beautiful, and then I'll buy these as well. Perfect. Yeah, I don't need anything else. We're gonna be running bolt as fast as possible. I want to just ult there quickly. This is oh, he's dead. He just, he literally just died. That's very troll on his end. How did they just all casually int? Like, excuse me. <laughs> they just walked into it. Like, hello. <laughs> all right, fair enough. I mean, that's the power about Pantheon ult. You could just get anywhere you like. 
uh, quite fast, which is very, very good. I'm kind of surprised they would, that, like, the Twitch just hard trolled that. I think, like, I would have gotten the kill on Twitch 100% there if he doesn't just troll and die to the turret. Who got the shutdown on him, actually? Lux did. Uh, yeah, that's not ideal. Trying to, again, with a W, get the proc when you have max charges and otherwise give the proc to your Q. Good, max W second. Gonna keep up a nice bit of clear speed here. Two smites, I might as well use one right here. And while we're walking right now, we're just gonna Q to get max charges and then we just go mid. He does get the kill. Actually, Yasuo starts picking up some stuff here. That's good. Uh, we might be uh, want to look to invade here, see where it's up. Maybe we can find him somewhere. That'd be good. But they got a pretty fresh red buff, so this is down. I'm going to double check that quickly. Go here. Mm, I just want to look and loop in from the backside of bot lane. All right, we're going for this guy then. Stun him. That's one. Lands that one too. Very close. That was a large amount of damage from Twitch. Maybe I should have focused the Twitch after all because he kind of walked back into it, but I felt like he was just going to run away there. Uh, it's fine. Can I take my reset here? I'm quite low on health right now. Uh, the Void Grubs will be spawning in 35. I don't particularly want to give that to Echo, especially after he just ulted. I think that's going to be a kill for Yasuo. Uh, go Sundered Sky here. Get the ability haste first. Or actually get an extra longsword for a bit of damage. Ults up in four, might be able to get this guy. I do not want to give Echo this. If he goes for a turret, I'll ult. All right, we'll ult behind him, so he has to run through us, pretty much. Are you serious? Oh, you just disrespected me big time, buddy. Like, you should have ran. The moment he turned around one step, he was instantly dead to my flesh. Now we just have to run for the uh, Void Grubs here. I'm going to do these first. Not smite this right now. Move up. All right, perfect. That what that dude just was free. He walked into us. That's we take those, you know. Perfect. Let's go. I'm gonna in this case just empower Q and try to hit everything. More AOE damage on this is better. So we just empower Q. All right, that was a bad Q. My God. This thing is slightly blocking me. Wait, I'm going to regroup them a bit so I can land the Q easier. Oh, this is good. Perfect. Uh, we're looking good. We have nine kills. We're obviously quite strong. I kind of want to see where Echo is. While running here, I want to Q as much as possible to get my charges back up. Echo is bot lane, okay. I could just look for the mid play here, actually. I cannot look for this. I don't think I actually beat him in a 1v1, if I'm being honest with you. I'm going to walk through here. This way, like, I don't get seen here, but I can't cut off the Echo. Echo ran into my direction. Q again right here, so we get our charges back, and then we just chase this. Let's wait for the slow. And we just E here for the invincibility against him, so he can't return damage on me. That's good. We could sneak past here because the turret was down and the wave wasn't showing up. The wave was all the way over here, so this is complete dead vision for the enemy team. So I could just walk through without any issues. We're picking up a good amount of kills. We have ult here. We can ult this GP potentially. Something to look for. Yasuo is actually starting to pick up quite a bit now. The ganks on mid lane have been paying off, it seems. Okay, he just... I think he just ended. Does he? Did he? No, he does get... He just straight up gets turret. Wow. Okay. Might want to dive this GP here. He is... I don't even know if he's worth ulting, to be honest. Like, genuinely. Scuttle is something I do want to take. I could just go mid. This, guy, this guy's going to walk up. There's a ward here, so we have to go. 
Just have to land my stun. Yeah, so it didn't do nothing there. Lovely. Alright, we're just gonna walk back to Rift Herald then. He could have gone forward by dashing through minions, and he probably would have caught him in time, but he didn't do anything there, so it's fine. I'm gonna clear this scuttle into the uh, Rift Herald here, probably, and then move on from there. Like, any given fight situation, 1v1s, I'm very, very strong. My ganks are also very strong with the W and power and stuff, right? So that's very good. It's just a bit of a clear speed issue. I mean, obviously, once you get enough AD, that clear speed issue doesn't really exist anymore, but most of the early game is a bit of a clear speed issue. Keeping my W instead of using it on the camp right now, because I'd rather have it up. It's a little bit of a lo longer cooldown than that, and having the stun ready to go for a fight is quite good. This is going to give me my smite upgrade. Do I have to go mid? No, yeah, so it's just winning now. All right, we'll go top then. GP is going to walk back and I'm just going to walk at him. He just orange, which means he gets hit by the entire thing here. Then we simply just um, eat towards him so he doesn't hit us. All right, all good. Okay, I'm not going to interact with anything too much here because I have a large amount of gold. So I definitely just want to back for the Sun of Sky right now. Uh, currently, the enemy team is very squishy, so the next item I'll be going for is going to be this thing. No if the enemy team is tankier, you want to go Sundered Sky into Cleaver, but the enemy team is very squishy, so it's Sundered Sky into uh, Spear of Shojin instead. That's what we'll be opting for here. I kind of want to just ult bolt. Oh, I actually have five charges. Whoops. I'll get him back, it's fine. Hmm. I kind of want to ult switch. Put him like far behind so we can actually reach him. There's no way he gets to walk back upwards here. Eh? Surely not. Oh, he actually got to survive for a while. Use the E to block damage from Twitch there. Good. Flash W with a triple hit. Get to press the attack. Proc into finishing him off. Basically one-shotting him. Get a nice guaranteed crit from the Sundered Sky and a heal too. And the rest of this is a bit much. I'm just going to do blue here. Wow. He does get the kill though. Interesting TP. I'll probably finish an echo here. He's going to be like in here, right? Yeah, perfect. Get the crit, get the press the attack, Brock, and he dies. We just drag him now. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, it's down for like eight more seconds. For some reason, I thought that was up. Can I do this? I don't have smite, which has got me a little bit worried, especially if Twitch like reacts here. Uh, this might be a bit risky, actually. The Rift Arrow that I have here wants to be used. Oh, this is definitely not good. Okay, that's fine. I was worried about Twitch showing for that, but... I guess Twitch is still a bit behind. At the smite here, it's going to empower Q. The smite's for like a thousand if the target's low enough. 1600 gold, which I do have, so I want it back for that soon. I don't particularly feel like running through a GP ult. Get some Q charges. Mm, Twitch is bold actually. We can just go. Aim towards them. Cue that. Perfect. Stun this guy. Alright. Not bad. Yasuo is getting more and more fed. We are very strong. We have 20 out of 31 kill participation as well. That's a lot. Alright. While we have the chance, I'm just going to take his top side and. Uh, I could. Rift Herald that turret, but that's not going to be necessary. So I'm probably just going to recall and put the Rift Herald bot lane. So I can push these two turrets down and really break the rest of their turrets line, essentially. Uh, we go here. And at this point, it kind of depends on the game. I think I'm going to go for... I'm kind of going to go for Maw, actually. Yeah, I think I'll just go for Maw. I was considering Sterax, but they have quite a bit of AP. 
damage, like 1, 2, 3 AP. Twitch has a decent amount of AP damage as well, even though he goes AD here. And this is also magic damage on hit. So some magic resist is going to be good here. And the offensive version of it in the form of Maw is the one I'm going to go with. And my entire jungle is up here, but I just want to place this Herald down before it disappears, basically. So it's going to send it bolt line pretty quickly right now. I think they just win that, but... Oh, that's a twitch. Make sure I herald through him so he gets CC'd. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. I hate that. That's so unbelievably annoying. Whatever. This turret is still dead, I think, but that was cringe on my behalf. Thank God they finished the turret off there. I hit him with a max range Q. Let's see if she controls the Herald better than I do. Ah, uh, she does. She actually hits the turrets with those. I'm just gonna E at the end there, so I don't take some damage from him there, but I'm already fine. Okay, I probably have to be a bit careful here. I'm like half HP. Our base is very broken though, but... Thun, he's just dead. Like, I don't know what that is. Perfect. And they FF'd it. Perfect. Uh, well, I mean, that was a pretty quick game, so I will just go into a second one. Alright. Time for the second game of this video. Uh, this time around, I will be playing a Pantheon into a Nocturne, which is actually... A bit of an annoying matchup, to be fair. Like, his spell shield, if he times it correctly, can be a problem. Lethal tempo is a bit of an issue as well. Okay, sure. He places the ward for me. I'm going to place it over here then, I guess. What is this? Oh, uh, what is happening here? Am I going to get a leash? <laughs> I would like to get a leash. You know, the first game was already not the most ideal thing in the world. Uh, was, I'm just going to recall here, place the ward. If I don't get a leash, I guess it is what it is. Got this sweeping trinket and we'll move. Interesting. Minions have spawned. All right. Uh, before we get into this one, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please consider doing so if you're enjoying the content. About 60% of the people who watch these videos aren't subscribed. So, you know, check if you're subscribed if you are enjoying it. And uh, yeah, that's about that. I'll start bot side clear towards top here. Uh, Yasuo into Darius is extremely Darius' favorite of a matchup. So I feel like that should be very good for top. I think one like kill early that player with like a clear towards it is like instant GG for top lane. Uh, lanes wise, otherwise, I mean, we have bot lane which is pretty gankable, I would say. Leon has pretty good setup. Brand is very immobile. So every single ult I get, I'll most likely use on bot lane here. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, we'll see. A uh, bit of a struggle boss at the start here once again, as per usual. I'm gonna wait with my W until I have full charges. So I get those three hits there. And then the Q for the full charges as well. Did I just miss the other one? Interesting. I get the E. Perfect. Hmm. Top's looking interesting. I think Darius could just go aggressive anytime he'd like. Block some damage there. Empower the W. Get the three hits back. Cue the small ones. And we're good. Perfect. It's under a bit of pressure at the moment. Top's getting pushed in, so a gank there is going to be relatively difficult, I think. Let's see. Into All right, we're getting the clear. Mid lane is getting hard shoved right now. Get this down. 
and I'll queue here. I'll get my charges back by queuing once again. The wave is now resetting on top side, which might make it gankable. We're gonna queue a couple times. Queue again. Queue again, so we get the, tr the stun, triple hit. Hopefully Darius doesn't like do nothing here and actually lands his hook, which he did, perfect. My Darius really trolled there, like really, really trolled there. He was all the way in Narnia for that one. This guy is trolling even harder. Okay, thank you, Yasuo. Very interesting. It's gonna help shove the wave. This needs to go into it quickly. And then we're just gonna reset. What? Did he just want to give me a cannon minion? Oh. I guess I should have taken it. I didn't expect that. Take this and we just go bot lane quickly now. And we don't want to go for the scuttle here because we are quite low. The, fight, the chances of us being able to fight the Nocturne there is all, are almost non-existent. Uh, so I ideally just want to go for the camp respawn on the bot side. There might be an angle where I can go for like a bot lane play here, but... If I go for this bot lane play, I will instantly lose those Void Grubs if Nocturne just rushes them. Nocturne is over there. 28 CS. He might go bot scuttle here if he has 28 CS right now. Would I be able to fight him? I do have a quite an advantage, so if he does run down right now, I can abuse that. Let's see if he does. I think he will. Does he go for his raptors or does he walk towards scuttle right now? That's the question. Goes for his raptors. I don't think fighting him is, here is going to be too smart. I think the Cassio is going to have too much of a priority situation going. So I'm just going to take this. Do wolves. He goes down that way. That's perfect. So he goes for Crux now. I can do wolves into Void Grubs then most likely. Okay. I'm gonna have to back ping there because that dude's gonna gank soon. Danger ping as well. Uh, it's gonna be like a nocturne over here, so I just have to go for void grubs now. We walk past this real quick. And we'll just see if we can get this objective. There it is. That's a nocturne. Uh, they cannot defend this at all. I'm gonna position myself over here so my Q lands on everything. And then we just W empower that one, and we just keep queuing through the entirety of this camp. He's never gonna get here in time, pretty much, so this is free. He was just bolt in. We're gonna try to end up with five stacks here as well. I'll smite the last one now, and then we just go top gank, I think, if possible. There's a ward here. He's obviously gonna back off because of that ward, so that's fine. And Nocturne's in his jungle, Cassio just died, he hasn't recalled yet, so if he is somewhere here, I should be able to fight him relatively easily, I would imagine. I mean, I say that, but... Especially if I mess up big time, I'm, I hard trolled that one, I'm dead for this, for sure. The reason I hard trolled that is because I, one, completely whiffed my 5 stack Q. Which is extremely bad, and I mean, trying to fight him with lethal tempo and a spell shield is just extremely stupid. I shouldn't have tried. My bad. I was overconfident. Very overconfident on that one. I'm actually gonna take tier 2 boots. That's on me, completely. Should not be trying to fight Nocturne in a 1v1 anyway. Uh, I knew that was gonna be pretty tough. I just wanted to try. Uh, Diaso had some pretty fast reaction speeds, though. I will have to say that, because otherwise I probably would have been able to survive. That's greedy on my end, I will admit. It is what it is. Should not do that again. Not unless I know for a fact I can kill him by just being far enough ahead. Type deal. One more camp for six. Even without a recall, he just beats me pretty easily. That's kind of crazy, to be fair. Shouldn't have missed my, uh, my big stack Q, though. Fun this. Just gonna clear it out. I cannot dive bot lane, I don't think. I mean, I wonder if this is warded or not. That is mid lane, I think. Yeah, it's mid lane. The world moves. They need to push the wave faster. Push! What are you doing? Shove the wave, you absolute monster of a player. 
You have got to be joking me with that one. I'm just gonna shield so he can't hit me. They're, they're going for way too aggressive now. Yeah, goodbye, guys. They overcommitted to a dive. That is on them. That's not on me. Absolute maniacs. First off, she doesn't shove the wave, so we have to, like, stall for a solid, like, 30 seconds for literally no reason. And then second off, they just dive afterwards when Nocturne was running down. If we overcommit to that dive, we're just dead. I'm not, I'm not doing that. That is on them for just griefing it. Oh, you tried to last hit my camp. Lovely. Thank you, guys. Huh? <laughs> uh, it's just a skill difference there between them. Like, they have no map awareness there. Like, if the Nocturne isn't, like, rotating down there in that instance, I guess we might be able to dive him. But even then, we were completely out of the position as already, and they just walk back in to turret dive the guy. That's like the easiest triple kill for Nocturne if I've ever seen one. I cannot do the dragon here. It's unfortunate. I can't do anything about this dragon because Cassio is just massive priority there. Ooh, I might actually be able to do something about this Cassio, though. Let's see. I wonder if she has flash or not. Hug the wall here. That's a flash. Alright, perfect. She didn't throw it fast enough there. That was good for me. I'm obviously not going to contest this dragon. Big kill for Darius. That was a close one, though. I think his blue is up, so it's going to quickly do blue into void grubs then. Yeah, there it is. Nocturne's running for his topside camps now. He will have his ult back by this time. I mean, in three seconds, he's dead. Ah, but like, fine, whatever. Zed didn't even want to ult him there either, apparently. I guess it's fine. Kind of want to get the Scuttle and the Void Grubs. Pet, please, thank you. That's a baddie. Should not have empowered my E there. Thought I was four charges, but I actually auto attack there. Borrow the W for the charges. With Darius here, this is just a free pickup. We can probably even go top lane. That's a big wave. He doesn't have teleport either. I guess I should just go take the wave then. My next recall will be quite strong. I'll just take the wave. There's no point in letting the wave go to waste, really. Yeah, so it didn't shove, like, didn't prioritize pushing for it, though. That's interesting. It's a good choice. I mean, not like I would have been able to fight him anyway, because Dari's obviously back. Dari didn't have any mana there anymore. It's gonna take this, the red buff, and then I might be able to just ult full plane here in a second. But I will finish the red buff first. Okay, double kill for bot lane. Leona does die though, but that's fine. Oh, shut down. Okay. My next back will be very strong. I don't see Yasuo currently, so there's no point in walking to top the ult. I think he just recalled. I need to recall as well because I have quite a big item in my base. Get the Eclipse. Into a double longsword here. Perfect. We're gonna go for Sundered Sky next. So. When I look to the mountains. Um, that's not too much to look for on top side. We're probably gonna have to danger ping there because it's pretty likely that the Nocturne's gonna be there. This is respawning though. Kind of wanna ult his red buff, but I don't know if that's too aggressive. No, I'm just gonna wait for Kaisa to get into lane. We might be able to uh, just ult. That's mid, right? Yeah, that's mid. Does he have red buff? Oh, he dies. Oh, that's not bad. He's gonna go for this. There is no way you're that useless, Leona. You still didn't even ult. That's crazy. The fact that she doesn't ult that is absolutely wild. We're just gonna charge up some Q charges here and pray that we can just dive this or something. 
That's a terrible engage. Make sure to block damage with E here. All right, perfect. Brand should have died in this position because she's all she had to do was just ult my stun and it's free. But obviously didn't do that, so. Dive became a little bit more spicy because of it. But it's fine. Guess I could have placed my ult a bit further back as well. Instead of like that far forward. So he doesn't have the time to run away from me, so I don't have to use my flash. There's the Nocturne. I will have the danger ping. I cannot fight that Nocturne ever in this situation because Casio could just be there. Um, and yeah, I would just be dead. I have like half mana. I'm not going to do what I did earlier and disrespect the Nocturne either. In a 1v1, he beats me for sure, I think. I mean, to be fair, he does have this item, which is a bit weaker if he doesn't have ult up. So he's not going to be as strong as he, he would be if he had like a different item. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. If they bleed, I call them sister. Hmm. Oh, we're going top. I don't have ult just yet, but we're running anyway. That is, I think, stupidly aggressive. I don't know if that's gonna actually. Okay, Yasuo dashed straight through him with the thing there, which actually is kind of good for him, I suppose. Just W as fast as possible. Try to get in range. Yeah. I mean, she cut it away. Darius did not have to walk towards her there whatsoever. I would have always gotten that kill, so he got kind of greedy. But a kill is a kill, I guess. It's fine for me. Shove the wave. I might just try to hit the turret down. Now oh, he's ulting me. Interesting. Gonna E at the end so he can't hit me like that while I'm feared. Need to just keep running until my stun is back up. He gets the auto attack at the end there. That's very interesting. Man. Oh, Nocturne is such a pain in my ass. Fair play, man. It's fair play. It's really hard for me to like do anything against him in return there, actually. Like straight up. Lethal Tempo kicks in, he has Spell Shield, he has Fear. I probably should have, I mean, if I don't shield there with my shield. I feel like I should have Empower W'd him, but... Uh, it's just not ideal. That champion is painfully annoying to deal with for me. Very good duelist. Spell Shield and Fear to combine with it, too. I wonder if he's, like, doing this Rift Herald. There might be good odds. Kind of want to ult, go and ult bot lane here to be fair. I think I'm just gonna run bot and ult there. On my way. Oh, right. Almost in range. No, that's too early, Leona. Ah, oh, they get just get the kills anyway. I don't didn't even have to ult. Lovely. Well, that's a waste of my ult. Fair enough. gonna look to take as many camps of this as possible i guess i should look to push this turret and botlin isn't backing off so i should realistically be here nocturne ult is probably back up to be fair because of this item he has very low cooldown on it all right need to look for the dragon kaisa has six kills right now it's quite good i guess could look mid here all right just W into Q. And I will not be fighting this Nocturne. Every time I do, man, I just die. God damn. Hey, he probably has ult, actually. Am I gonna die for this? That's an ult mid lane. Kinda Q to stack my W up and we just run mid quick. Uh, with all of his skills on cooldown, there is not a chance you beat me here, buddy. That doesn't matter. Like, he either walks that way or he walks up and he just dies regardless, because walking up will get him stunned every single time. Because if he kites into the bushes, I have the blue smite advantage, and I have Relentless Hunter as well. There's no way he would outrun me. That's not a problem. Ice and Leon are both top lane, okay. I am prioritizing Dragon over, like, doing anything here. Just get it down. 
I will go bot lane after this dragon, but dragon comes first, and then we just go bot now. Him potentially getting the turret down is not something I'm really concerned with. Defend myself for a bit. He flashed there, that's not a problem. I should be able to catch him, no, no problem here, I would imagine. Do I have to flash for this? That's kind of annoying. Fine. You win, I flash for you, it's fine. Alright, I'll wait for this to spawn, get the red buff on spawn as well. Ooh, Kaisa with the ace, okay. Take the chance here to take as many of his camps as I can. Level 13, okay. Kaisa might be dead here, that's pretty greedy. That does reach, so we can Pantheon ult across the map here to see if we can help. That's one kill. That's the beautiful thing about Pantheon, right? Don't. The rest of this will be too greedy. But yeah, you're across the map and you can just ult. Like, it's a colossal radius. It's pretty free. Not bad at all. I'm currently trying to take as many of his camps as I can. My team is overextending for a fight right now. There's not a whole lot I can do in this situation in this mid fight. I just have to like kind of let it be. I have 3200 gold, so I need to look to recall here. And then after that, we uh, pretty much clear this entire jungle so we can look for our own camps. Uh, again, pretty squishy team, so we're going to go for this item next. More tanky team, I would have gone Cleaver. Going AP Kai, so that is good. I think the enemy the team completely dies here. There's no way they survive that. My Kaisa is quite strong. I am very strong. Darius is not doing too bad either. Right, I'm just gonna get take this red buff and play more aggressive because my team is walking very far forward. I wanna give my team red buff here for sure as a priority. Okay. Team has red buff now. Are they gonna die? I think they might. Yeah, that's a bit aggressive. Neither me nor Leona were like close enough to it. Let's move. Just shield myself. That's a bad Q. Got fear there too. That's a bad Q on my end. I had. I mean, I could take a gamble and ult one of these bushes here, but. I feel like I shouldn't. I could just take his blue here and then take the scuttle and it's just more consistent that way. I need to definitely wait with killing blue. I'm not going to smite this because I want Kaisa to get it too. So it's going to wait until she's up and then kill it now so the entire team gets blue buff. Right, my team is going a bit over aggressive. For sure. Should be okay though. I can back for my, for my item here which is something I'll do. I am extremely strong right now. I have 174 CS as well at 21 minutes. Like, the moment you get AED is actually the moment, like, you're gonna be fine. It's just that initial clear speed is kind of eh. It's not bad, but it's also not great. And his ganks are just obviously good, right? Okay, if they if there's an engage on mid, I could just ult, so I'm not too worried about, like... Okay, I'm just gonna have to ult this. That's fine. You get the stun, but... Yeah, that's one of those where, like, you don't have to worry about being in position as much. You can kind of just farm your camps. You're also colossal radius. You do have to... Uh, does that reach? It does. Perfect. But you do have to react, obviously. If your team gets engaged on, you need to be there. I'll go bot lane. It's fine. They can play all mid, like, if they want. I, like, I can go bot here, take, like, blue for the team. And then potentially look for the dragon, see if this guy even walks up at all. I don't think he will. I think he recalled. But I don't. My team doesn't need me in that push, and I could just do blue for the team here into potentially the dragon as well. It's like a play anyway. Should be kind of fun. Yeah. So it did in fact reset. I wonder. I wonder why he didn't ult that. I think if he ults that, like Kaisa just insta dies now. I obviously, have to walk back forward towards my team here. Okay, decent. 
On the sideline here, I'm gonna queue back up. We want to try to play for Dragon, I think. My Kai'Sa and my, my Leonard is very low. Okay, they're just committing to this. That's gonna be their death sentence, I think. This is too aggressive. Stun him. Yeah, I don't know, like you're just really trolling. I don't know what this overcommitment is supposed to be. Like, there's no points. Just take the dragon on a recall, it's fine. They were so low and they just commit to a fight like that. I'm definitely going for dragon here. I mean, this brand's trolling if he dies, to be fair, but yeah, in that situation, dragon is just the consistent thing you do. Trying to like siege for kills is pretty stupid. Especially with the HP they were at, they just had to go dragon. We can reset, we can go Baron, game's over. I'm still gonna do dragon here, reset and go Baron, but yeah. They didn't have to overextend for that whatsoever, but they did. All Leona sees is blood. Smite then Q for the execute on it. Alright, let's go Baron. Mm. I'm gonna go Sterax here. I, th eh, I could just go Maw again, to be fair. It's gonna be good against Brand and Cassio. I could go more defensive in the form of a Force of Nature, but I don't really like doing that on Pantheon too much. And you do have an E and stuff, so you can survive pretty comfortably. I would hope they just want to listen and actually do the damn Baron. That'd be nice. We just have the Baron. It's a free Baron, they just need to not AFK for this, which seems like they are actually AFKing for this, so that's lovely. Gotta appreciate an ADC that is completely trolling. Look at this Kai'Sa, man. Like, we have no like we have no serious Baron damage without you. Like, are you serious right now? How are you this blind? Like, that's crazy. This Baron should have died like 15 seconds ago. If the enemy team is able to steal it now, that would just be depressing. Yeah, we got it, it's fine. Almost level 16, just one camp away. I don't want to pressure and top with Baron here. Charge up my stacks here as well. I'll actually Q. Gonna Q twice. Look at a good engage position. Don't want to just go in by myself. If Darius goes for an engage, I'll follow. Um, I can just push this wave out and be ready to ult pretty much. Pressure in all waves with Baron. Sets so pushing bot, I push top. And I can just react to mid. And whenever a fight happens with my R, because it's within range, as you can see. So just kind of calmly finish this one out. Behind the minion here, by the way, just to make sure he doesn't murk me. Shield. That's a kill. Two kills. Three kills. Got him with a triple hit for the press proc and the uh, crit on that one. Not bad. That is game. Uh, so yeah, uh, last two items would have been Maw and probably just the Death's Dance here, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to the like button below. Helps me out quite a bit. And I will see you guys in the end game stats. All right, so for the end game stats here for game number one, I ended up doing 26.4k damage, which is barely the most. I mean, obviously I got Yasuo to this point. Uh, he was like zero and four in lane. I was able to turn that around for him, which was quite nice, but solid damage, not too bad. Uh, true damage, 800. And we have objective damage at 41.6k. Healing done, 17.1. Uh, damage taken at 24k. Self-mitigated damage, another 16.7. Gold earned at 13.4. Just a lot of, uh, I mean, I had a lot of kills, but also just farming consistency gets you there pretty pretty nicely. And for the runes, press the attack, dealt a total of 2,000 damage, which is very, very good. A triumph for 2,000 HP and a bit of gold. Tenacity CC reduction alongside the small rune for the CC reduction as well. Could have graph for an extra 1,000 damage. This helps you execute with Qs off of the crit hit from it, which is what I really like. But you can also go for the last stand if you'd like that more. Uh, Relentless is just for map mobility alongside Blue Smite for map mobility and obviously your ults for map mobility. This allows you to get within range for Ws easier and just like in gank positions better with ult rotations, of course. And on Sudden Impact for some bonus damage. I like this one because if I go in with like a triple stack W, it'll count as a dash, which then obviously for the entirety of the burst rotation gives me a bit of extra lethality and I just added damage really. Then for the stats for game number two here, I ended up doing... 22k-ish damage, just behind Zed and Kai'Sa. Um, 
it's a respectable amount. You have to consider here that Zed and Kaisa were playing overly aggressive to certain degrees. So they kind of su suicidal a lot at some points here. They have five deaths, six deaths here. They were overly aggressive. So they are going to have more damage because of that. It's not necessarily that they were playing it well, but they're going to have more damage because of like over aggressive plays there. They shouldn't go for it will line, line up to more damage. I didn't go for those. So obviously my damage is a little bit lower, but that's something you should uh, keep in mind with that really. Uh, true damage, obviously not much here. Objective damage at 44.7k or 8k. It's very good. We have healing done at 17k, damage taken at 26k, which is the most. Self-mitigated, another 20k here as well. Just a solid amount of damage taken. Gold earned 13.8. Kaisa does have more, obviously, but uh, that is fair. Uh, for the runes here, press the attack, dealt 1800 damage. We have triumph for 1100 healing and an extra bit of gold. Tenacity CC reduction, could have grab for the extra damage. And then once again, relentless for the map mobility and sudden impact for that added burst damage. Last two items here would have been a maw and probably a Death's Dance. Uh, maybe if I ended up need needing Cleaver, I can go like Maw Cleaver instead and potentially switch my boots for an armor item, like maybe a Death's Dance, maybe just Steel Caps, you know, as an armor item to compensate. But yeah, that is it for Pantheon. I hope you guys have enjoyed both games. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below. I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.